the NSYNC staging is a lab a special project to help customers set up multiple devices at once. When tablets or smartphones are bought in bulk for kiosks and other applications, they often need specific apps installed and the operating system kept up to date for the implementation to work properly. The process of installing this necessary software is known as staging. However, if this staging is done over Wi-Fi, it can be a slow process. If you have too many devices trying to connect to the network over Wi-Fi, there will be congestion and the connection will be slow. This will be a major concern if you are sharing the same network connection as other parts of your business. The entire company's network could get bogged down. Also, there's a good chance the mobile devices would be running on battery power, as you likely wouldn't have enough outlets to plug in all the chargers. So even if you manage to update all the devices, their batteries could be dead or near dead by the time the installation is done. The NSYNC staging adapter solves this issue. It features a 10100 capable Ethernet port for a wired network connection and four USB-C ports to connect mobile devices. The NSYNC staging adapter features SimulCharge, which allows up to four compatible mobile devices to simultaneously charge while accessing data. This means the mobile devices can download and install the required software and updates without draining their batteries because they are still being charged through the adapter. If the mobile devices are capable of fast charging, the adapter will provide 9 volts. If they don't support fast charging, they will be charged at the standard 5 volts. In addition to SimulCharge, the NSYNC staging adapter features Lava's docking detect technology, which ensures that the handshake protocol between the SimulCharge adapter and the mobile devices are executed correctly and reliably every time the units are connected. However, for SimulCharge to work, the adapter must use a USB charger that supplies at least 45 watts of power. If the charger is less than 45 watts, the adapter will default to OTG mode. In OTG mode, the adapter is still powered by the charger, but the mobile devices are running off their own batteries. They remain in USB host mode and can still access the Ethernet connection through the adapter. Most USB-C mobile devices are capable of OTG, making the NSYNC staging a truly universal adapter in this mode. You can also manually switch between SAML charge and OTG modes by pressing a blue mode select button on the adapter. However, this button only works if the adapter is receiving 45 watts. To find out more about the NSYNC staging adapter, check out the special projects section on LAVA's website.